What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. And you have my knife. And you've how got you been? my sword. <laughs> uh, oh, how you been? Okay. Uh, you I've been, been good, Mike. Thank you for asking. How you been, Jesse? Good? Eh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Guys, welcome to Into the Badlands discussion for Season 2, Episode 4, entitled... Anybody? That's by Anybody? lion. Palm uh, of the eye and flocks. What is flocks? I thought it was hairy palm of the... Hairy palm of Harry and the Hendersons. Guys, uh... Pamela so Anderson? Har- yeah. <laughs> Pamela Anderson? Guys, we got... Pamela Anderson, not listen, Anderson. we got what a lot to talk about? about. Enough with the quippy quips. We've got a lot to talk about here, guys. All right? Yes, we do. Here's the deal. Uh, a lot of things happened. A lot of things went down in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about them in the in the order of importance according to us. Uh, how's that sound? Sound good to you? Great. Marvelous. Before we get into that, let me go ahead and read you what the stupid synopsis was. Uh, this time around, it says, The Widow's fight for power puts her in an epic showdown with her enemies who have joined forces against her while an old threat resurfaces. That is actually mm. kind of apropos to what happened in the episode this time. So kudos to whoever wrote that dumb synopsis. It was me. Uh-huh. Uh, no, okay. I did. I did it, bastards. All right, guys. Uh, so let's jump into it. Uh, let's talk about yes. dumbass MK, because I think now we all just assume yes. he's a stupid little jerk bitch. Um, so He's my sick. He's yeah. Well, okay. So he 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 puts himself back into the little trance. Go. He enters the dragon once again and goes into the upside down, and he fights his alter ego. But you know, I had made a comment in live reaction that he was just really going in there not to practice, not to learn how to fu- how to beat the demon within, but ha- to see his I'm fucking happy. mom. So yeah. you know, again, he he sees his mom bleeding. Now, what I don't get is, guys, does, did it is it was it implied that he did that to his mom? That he killed his mom? Yeah. It was, of course. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we we saw that right away. But the thing is now, what we see in this upside down, is that what happened in the real future? Like, that's the only question. I mean, the, in the real future. In the past, I should say. Mm-hmm. Is that what really happened? That would, I would think, would be... So he's running bigger, from... So, he's, right? so that demon is himself, obviously, his dark side. But run, he's running from... The responsibility. So he's going to have to basically own up. And once he owns up to his fucking past, he's, he can defeat the demon within. I just like oh, saying the demon what, within. Yeah, well, what I'm, no, what, I, I'm, what I'm saying is it's implied that he killed his mother. Right. So even though we see this in this altered reality, we don't know what it is. We don't know if if it's the truth that he's seen. You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. No, I know what you're saying, yeah. 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 So we don't know if that's what 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 really happened, you know, it's in the guilt past, that he's harboring, or, or is it just he's just needs or to, if yeah. it's maybe his hallucinations, alter, like, you know, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Maybe that's what he assumed. Machinations. But, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I think that he he definitely did. Jesse, you got words on this or no? Why haven't I on camera? <laughs> Let's see. Um, Jesse's about to hang up on the call. You I know. That? Jesse, got any words? Fuck you. Yeah. He hangs up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that was weird. Uh, I, I was like, okay. Choose to no, cut that out if you want, Jesse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of in, interpret it as like he might have stabbed her or something because I don't know. He probably cut himself cooking for his mother, and she walks in, stabs her, and then he runs away, cools down, comes out of his trance, and then comes back to his mom. She's dying. No, I forgive you. Yeah, that's that's oh, hey, that could be. be. He might have yeah. been uh, making some uh, an old cutting a ribeye or something. He was you know, making some enchiladas with a knife. I don't know. All right, well, so you know, uh, the best part of that whole thing was like Mike says in the live reaction. Yeah, he got kicked. It, he kicked him right out of the upside down. So yeah, he did. Was it was part. a short, short-lived uh, MK this episode. You, you know, um, I don't even know why they threw that in there. They didn't need that at not at all but they were probably well, like oh shit we forgot we needed to fucking put this plot point in here well, it just is. by by saying that it makes sense even more yeah. now that it was his fault that and he was the, you know he definitely yeah. did kill his mother yeah. there really is no question all about right. that i mean F- fuck him let's move forward let's talk about dumbass veil yet another dumbass all she's right. doing the indiana 
Indiana <laughs> Jones, man. A well, little fucking... Not, not doing it real well, though. You know? Yeah. All right, so... I was just... The baby was just nestling on my breast. What do you do knocking on my door? <laughs> motherfucker? So this guy... What was this guy's name again? Oh, oh good question. His name. Good question. Andrew? Henchman number... Might have been. Henchman number 93 is what I was wanting to call him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a red shirt. All right, let's the just, chef. Let's just... Chef. We'll call yeah, him. we'll call him Chef. Yeah. Quite literally was a red shirt today, uh, in this episode. Well, look. Here's the thing. I have, I have a couple I have a couple theories slash questions about this once we finish this section. But, all right. So, basically, she... Everyone, everybody leaves. She She's left with this one dude. And he's like... You know, he's cooking for her and stuff, and she sees an opportunity to pay, maybe, like, you know, we thought she was going to poison him and kill him, but she ends up just putting some sleeping potion in there. Um, yeah. But uh, prior to that, you know, she she goes into the, the light room, the ventilation yeah. room, whatever, and tries to, you know, Indiana Jones her way out of it, but mm-hmm. ends up getting caught. Um, the real, I, I guess she just realized she couldn't do it. Like, she's just, there's no way she was going to climb up all that shit with the baby and, like... And he was either coming. that or she ran out of time because the guy was knocking. Well, it was on the kind door. of both because she was stuck there. She was sitting there like, ah, uh, and then he came to the door because he came after. She was already hanging there like an idiot, right? Yeah. And then she comes. So yes, maybe, yeah, I guess. Either way, she didn't do it. He, she ends up putting it, putting this guy down to sleep. Now he, here's my problem with that. Hmm. What would have made the whole thing a little like? And this is why some of the writing kills me. And I'm sure they thought about this. And I don't, and they went they went the, the way they went instead of saying this. Yeah. She does that, and she goes, oh, my God, are you all right? Are you all right? Like, play it down. Like, not like, he's like, you did this to me. And she's like, ah! okay, that's not a guilty face. You know what I'm saying? Like, she could have been like, what are you talking? Are you okay? I don't know. what. What? It- Let me help you. Let me help you. And then he would have just passed out. Now, would that really have made a difference? I guess maybe not, because he still would have thought that she did something, I guess, right? So maybe I'll just, it's just, maybe well, it's maybe, just me. Yeah, you know, I mean, well, what do you think, Jess? I think he might have believed she didn't poison him that it was the mushrooms because he was saying initially he initially said oh no it's a bad batch of mushrooms yeah yeah Yeah. i mean she could have played it off and like i I don't know what's going on here let me go get some medicine she runs away yeah i mean you know it probably would have been the smarter move if you really think about it once we see what happened i mean right just for once can't can't they just do that in these shows this is it's so fucking predictable and that's well, because a little hint of freedom turns people stupid. Exactly. She was overconfident, and she and she thought one thousand percent she but, was stupid. Okay, but see, you guys said that in the live reaction, but you know what? That wasn't her. That wasn't her face. Her face was like shocked, and she was all aghast. You know, instead of having a smug face like the widow would have had. You know what I'm saying? Like if the widow had done that, she would have been like, "Yeah, motherfucker." This time, you know, Vale was like, uh, "I can't believe I did that." You know, like I think that I don't see it that I didn't see it that way at all. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I did to go back and watch it, man. Jesse, when you watch I, it, you'll see it. When you do the I, fucking yeah, edit, I don't you'll know, see. Dude. I, I saw it as she was, she was like, and, "Yeah, I got you." And now yeah, I'm out. I don't know. I don't know about that. But either way, she's an idiot because she doesn't take the keys off the dude. Yeah. She she there's a locked fucking door. She just did. She just did everything. What a what a botched fucking escape plan. <laughs> I want to know how he was still awake. Yeah. Oh, she spent an hour. Right? Like, she's, well, again, she thought well, it was going to be an hour, but. It could have been less. I mean, he didn't finish completely right. before sure. it in. Yeah, she put but a lot about, in, though. How about the biggest fucking shock of the whole veil escaping was the fact that she beat the ever loving shit out of the fucking clipper? Out of the quote unquote <laughs> clipper. What's going on? All right, let's just track that to. Um, the what was it, the first episode when um, the widow, the widow just ran through those fucking clippers at the oil field, right? And yeah. now let's fast forward to when Vale, this b- regular woman nurse, yeah, um, beats the ever loving shit out of this dude. Now, obviously, Quinn has the confidence that this guy would be able to protect her, right? Now. Yeah. And, you know, if the woman gets unruly, let me smack down. You know what I mean? But she just clobbered him. To be fair, he's probably still groggy from the medicine. Well, okay, yeah, there's that, Jess. But also, what about the fact that maybe he didn't want to, like, beat beat on her? Yeah, because if he ended up doing that and really hurt her, then, you know. Listen, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's still... 
Plus, also, I think he was kind of smitten with her, cooking for her. Like, if, if not, not for nothing, guys, but if Quinn saw that shit, he would have stabbed that dude in the face with an antler. Said it. He said it. If I let you leave, Quinn's going to kill me. But instead okay. of Quinn killing you, you might have went out with a little bit more honor than some chick veil clobbering the shit out of you with a crowbar or Fucking whatever. bashing your fucking face. I mean, come on. He has infection in his hand from last episode when she didn't. Oh, the gangrenous. He's all gangrenous and Boy. shit. Yeah, that's true, uh, yeah. Well... All right, so here's a question for you. Um, I mean, obviously the question is, you know, what do you think is going to happen to Vale and Henry now? I mean, one of my theories is that, you know, she could always, you know, obviously the thing's broken. She can't get out, right? She, she, she can obviously say he attacked me. He attacked me. I tried to leave. I got the keys from him. I tried to leave, but he attacked me, and I was able to get the drop on him, and oh. that's what happened. Obviously, I, th- I, I hope that's what they just do that. Unless she gets out somehow, just do that. Don't don't play it off. Don't just fucking say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on how how soon we'll see Quinn coming back. Well, that's another yeah, and that's another question that I have. You for know what I mean? Later and it's, on. That's it's, a good it question. seems like he will because obviously you know they Quinn were like, let's get out of here. They got yeah, a let's group. Get the fuck out of here. His his lieutenant, his second in command, is all like busted to, right now. I'd like to see her. I'd like to see her. Maybe like Jesse even said, if you can't get the fucking key out of the lock that broke, because obviously it wasn't the right key, right? We're assuming that yeah, it wasn't well, the right he, key. He, he attacked so, her, yeah, he, and she kind of got pulled you away know what I mean? and it broke. So maybe she'll either somehow get that chunk of key out of there and find the, the right key, which I'm assuming will happen. Um, or, like I believe Jesse said, maybe get your fucking crowbar thing, your first plan, and climb your ass out of there. Or... Will Sonny find her? Yeah. Or continue beating on the lock with a freaking club? Like that too. Yeah. You know? A lot of, I mean, lot of options for Vale. Take <laughs> and I, a lot of options maybe, for Vale. I, I guarantee can, no maybe one will... everybody can watch right down below in the comments. What yeah, what you how, think she's going to do. But I guarantee it. nobody will. They'll do the exact opposite of what everyone says. <laughs> All right. I'm sure there's some explosives there in that comment <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. She could probably make it herself, though. That bitch yeah, knows true. what she's doing, you know? All she needs is a mortar and, uh, yeah. yeah, mortar and uh right. Let, let's 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 leave veil behind for the moment for the time being and let's go over to leave her behind uh, the veil the, yes yeah, let's, let's 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 no let's come out from behind the veil oh, and um on. and then uh, let's get and over get to the them. widow let's go to the trial of the widow which to be honest i didn't realize was a fucking trial till like all of a sudden it was like <laughs> oh this is a fucking trial i thought i thought they were just hold like on, hold on. <laughs> you mean after last episode with yeah him, or last episode and episode four last with Waldo yeah. saying, "Yeah, they want a trial for you." Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know. This was a yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Proceed. All right. So Proceed. anyway, um, yeah. with this 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 impromptu trial, apparently, um, no. Okay, so uh, damn man. All right, we got a lot going on here. We got to we got to meet all these other barons, which are really cool. They were all unique. Their costumes were dope. Hell own personalities. Um, you know, Veil a uh, Veil, damn it. Uh Minerva, the widow, yeah. she was kind of put in a position where she had to, you know, uh fucking really played out really fucking well. Yeah. They didn't they didn't fucking do like like linger on anything. I I I, re- I gotta tell you, man, guys, I love this fucking show. I love that they're pushing this story fe- to, to, like they're pushing it, which means they to me, if they don't slow it down, they're going to get a lot of stuff in this season. A yeah. lot of stuff. Number one. Number two, they give it to us succinctly. It's very like, boom, this is this, 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 and this. So It's not too in-depth. No, with, and it's yeah. just, it's just enough. And right, it's, it's a, perfect. Yeah. It's like, look, all right, this is what you need to do, Waldo says, right? Boom. Guess yes. what the next scene is? She's talking to the girl. All right, I'll do this for you if you do this for, for us. All right, fine. Yeah. I'll think about it. She goes in. I'm going to do this. They betray her. Boom. Like, that was like, yes, 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 yes. Perfect not timing. To, yeah. Not, it, not, to, not to cut you off, but just just the, one of the, one of the remind, you know, I got that same idea with the, the kid with the bird. As mm-hmm. soon as he got the information... You know, he tied the little note onto the onto Sent the it away. bird and let it go. He, and then the guy in the next scene, the guy had the bird. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So what I'm no, saying, I man, the they, same. I, so far, I am yeah. really digging how they're pushing this story. And it's mm -hmm. good. For the most part, it's good. There are, like, the Veil shit and some of the MK shit. Like, for the most part, I mean, the, can I tell you, I'm not even interested in those, really. MK, I don't give a shit about right now because nothing's really happening. This fucking The Widow, which, to be honest, I didn't never, I never really cared about her or Ryder. Like, I thought that was dumb. But, like, I'm really enjoying the shit with Quinn and the widow right now so okay so so w w what do we get so so again what let's let us push it forward too so yeah. they end up uh betting uh judging against her yes. right even when chow you want to talk about how chow was the other the, the, the other woman the woman in white right that pretty much gave um gave minerva a a uh, quote-unquote um she, she, she said she, she was gave her like it yeah exactly she she pretty much told her listen i'll vote for you if you make sure that the cogs that are that you know all these people that just keep joining because remember in the previous episodes we're seeing you know past clippers and we're seeing these prostitutes and we're seeing everybody she's all these cogs people. coming in yeah the runaway cogs she's harboring yeah. runaway cogs which are hurting everyone else's business plantations whatever so yeah so they were like mm -hmm. you need to stop that um, but uh, before we forget, uh, you know, she did threaten them. She threatened all of them. She's like, if you guys go against me, just know I have people at every single one of your houses. And she well, no, she did that after they all voted against her. Was it after or before? Yeah, yeah that was after. After. That's oh, what okay, okay, brought okay. it on. Before. Yeah, that's what brought it on. Oh, I, yeah, it I remember before. Ryder pulls out a sword and she's like, oh, he's, oh she's yeah, bluffing. Yeah, she's bluffing. Baron okay, yeah. Gimli over there he has his family too much compound and then everybody's like oh wait, wait hold on yeah yeah that, yeah that's what happened <laughs> well uh yeah okay so I, I for some reason i thought maybe i, I thought it'd be cooler if she threatened them before they did that <laughs> no 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 we yeah. obviously we see her get pissed off when chow chooses you know goes against her word and they all double cross her and pretty much you have these six or however many many other barons were there against yeah, Waldo, I think, I think five, something like that. So you're five having five. five against one technically, and then yeah. we see a little badassery of Waldo, which yeah. is cool. My my my, um, I mean, I like the character of Waldo being from you know being uh, stuck in this and being a paraplegic and stuck in this in this wheelchair. How they still give him a lot of action, and pretty much he has this cool badass chain on the side well, a of testament to the kind of clipper he was that's why he trains yeah. clippers because yeah. he's exactly. a fucking man exactly. but it's cool. wheelchair it's... Odoom. exactly wheelchair wheelchair Odoom, Odoom. Odoom. Yeah. um but just his overall advice because he was the one that actually told the widow listen um taking taking um the deal where i forget exactly he's what, like you what... got it you're gonna have to take a hit Sometimes it doesn't yeah. necessarily show your weakness. It just shows you're using your smarts, you know, because look yeah. what will happen if you don't necessarily take this deal. We're going to be you, you may end up dead yourself. Yeah, basically. So yeah. I, I think it's, you know, and I've said this a couple of times already. I mean, I like just just that presence that he gives. You know, she's he's her right hand man, you know, for right now. So, you know, I, I enjoy that. And then obviously Tilda was there too to kind of. Badass fucking killing spree there, you know. So all right, so you know, like you guys mentioned, Ryder decides that he wants to call her bluff, um, you know. But then, just then, you know, Quinn Quinn resurfaces, you know. Show stealer Quinn. I mean, yeah. he figuratively sold the show in the past three episodes, and then he literally literally this time, yeah, Complete, com time. completely, yeah. Uh, you you're cutting up a little bit, Jess. So if, if we don't answer <laughs> what you said, it's you're just you kind of froze for a second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, th that motherfucker just shows up. It was it was great. We were all just like, yeah, and it was done so perfect. He just like nonchalantly comes in. He 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 immediately berates his fucking son, taking my woman, going through my wardrobe, and his son just bolts. Jets. He's such a little biatch, right? The thing that was so cool about his entering, and I always liked those re, uh, you know, those um, reconnection kind of yeah. uh, episodes Scenes when you shit, see yeah. characters that haven't seen each other in, in a while, especially when they all think that he's dead. Right. So each individual Baron, every single character that was in this scene, thought the Quinn was gone. So just the express, you you got to see the expressions on everyone else. 
um, everyone else's face is there. Every single one of these people when Quinn steps in and, you know, the first thing, the one, you know, the, the, the Gimli Baron says, I thought you killed your father, you know? And, uh, you know, and the way, the look that Minerva gave Waldo. Yeah. You know, like, whoa, shit, I thought, you know, yeah. everybody was like shocked as shit and it was just badass because he's, you know, like you guys say, he's he's got that, he's a presence. He might be one of the best actors on the show. I mean, for oh, the most yeah, part. Oh, yeah, I, I, I would have you to know, agree so, with that. Yeah. I would have to agree with that. Yeah, Martin just see, is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just to see, um, just to see everybody's reaction was really, was really spot on. And that, even though we know, um, he's still suffering from this, uh, this aneurysm or whatever that's going on. Yeah. Um, he's still, he's still able to, I mean, cause we talked about it a little bit before, just jumping back really quick. Just uh, before they actually went on um, to, to to heading to the, the mansion, there, um, one of his friends actually had to help him. One of his crony, one of his men, had to kind of help him up. So yeah, he's not looking know, it, too good. It's he, but he still comes in with this power, especially after we see bravado. Ryder. He's got he's all he's all bravado, yeah. you know. And I mean, he's yeah. got the power behind it to to back the bravado, but. Yeah, I agree, man. It's just, yeah. I mean, uh, again, like he he is he is one of the best characters on the show, if not the best right now. You know, he's just played without any. There's no holding back. You know, so he's done really well. And what's cool about this whole section, this whole scene, is that he shows up, and all he really cares about is his son. You notice yeah. that he didn't even yeah. he barely talked to anyone else, and he the son took off, and he took off after his son. He says, "Kill them all." Leaves his men to mop up, right? And then he fucking goes. So briefly, I mean, let's talk about, I mean, what a great fight scene. Again, another great fight scene. Yeah. You know, and don't forget, I think they're, I, you know, I think they're, the writers are like, we need to, like, get this story sorted so we have time to do these awesome extended fight scenes. Because these aren't quick fight scenes. Oh, these are like, sure. these are yeah. some yeah. dope ass, like, you know great fight you know so what a great again like i'm gonna stab you with my heels type fighting everything these guys use everything she you know waldo's wheelchair of doom tilda shows up with the butterfly shuriken to the dude's head Mm -hmm. right we get the shot of the like the power ranger shot where at all three of them when they're all done fighting like (laughs) fighting in stilettos on the gravel which i thought there always is always is this one element of these fights though that to me i'm always like oh god but you know what? I like it though. I still like yeah. it. Yeah. You know, she had her little fucking clips in her hair there. There were the, the fucking blades, knives. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, so great, uh, great, great, great fight scene. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, anything else we want to mention about the fight scene? Not really about the fight scene, but about uh, Martin Cossacks. Because I, I looked it up just now because, you know, I didn't remember if that was his name fully. I was like, yeah. Yeah. And we always make references to Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. I forgot he was in Rings. Say, say it again. I forgot he was in Lord of the Rings. When where did was he? It? I don't remember when, but it says he was in Lord of the Rings when I was checking his name. Well, there you go. Oh, we had to we had to, we had to see that. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna have to check it out. Yeah. But if you guys if you guys checked it out and know, comment it please. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Definitely. Yeah. So let's so let's move to that then. Uh. Mm-hmm. Quick, quick, quick little brief scene where he sees Jade, which was great. Because she was like, yeah. oh, shit. And she's like, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. And he's like, no, 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 no. I, I, just, just just, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. They look out the window, and he's fucking bolting. And he can, he can jump. See, the biggest thing with that is that these guys can do these flips and, and jumps and these, you know, crazy moves. But I guess he forgot how to run because he... <laughs> He was running like a sixteen-year-old girl in a in a Wolfman movie from nineteen fifty-eight. Yeah. <laughs> Through yeah. this maze, like falling down, like tripping, one leg is <laughs> crossing in front. Of, oh, daddy's help! You know. But oh. I thought that was really hilarious, especially since you see you see him running from the window. But the cool thing between the the Jade and and the the Quinn scene was, even though um, we all know what Ryder and Jay did behind Quinn's back. Yeah. But she said, I, I, he said, I must find uh, like a, like a respect for your conniving, yeah. you, like your scheme of what you were doing and your, and your bravado that you had enough balls right. to do this behind to my back. Shit off. Yeah. Yeah. 
wish she, I wish he would have thrown her over the the fucking the, the railing the or some shit. Yeah. You know? Well, but, um, yeah. yeah, it was just, that was that was cool. You know, that was cool for for me to see. But the fucking rider running thing had me fucking dying. You know, and then they meet up, and I I just I really I think that's for me. I'm gonna say that's my favorite scene mm-hmm. because they get there, and his dad's just like, what 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 are you gonna do? And the kid the kid doesn't know what the fuck to do. And he's trying to be tough. He's, you know, he's like, you know, his dad puts him down once and he's like, he gets back up and he's like, all right, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's telling his dad, you know, and his dad's like, you got to fucking be a man. He's like, you want to fucking do this shit? You want to be a man? You want to fucking take what's, what's mine? You want to take it for yourself? Then fine, do it. And he takes the fucking blade, puts it like, he's like, do it. Do what you should have done. It's like, be a fucking man, do it. And he would have taken that shit. Uh, Quinn, I mean. Quinn would have taken that blade to the chest and been like, now, now you can do it. Now you can be, now you can be the Baron that, you know, yeah. uh, that, that you, you tried to be. With. <laughs> so he, you know, so yeah, he kills his son, man. And, and I was like, I don't know. It was like I was sitting here and I'm like, fuck, man. Like all of a sudden I felt and I didn't feel for the kid. I felt for Quinn being like, fuck, like he didn't want to do that. He's like, shit. He's like, you were supposed to kill me. He's like, you were supposed to do it. I, I actually felt felt for Ryder a little bit. I even said it during the well, live I mean, reaction. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you know, he's like, why didn't you do it? You know, and he's like, because you're what? my dad. So it shows it shows that they you know we we already knew that they're two completely different people yeah. but it shows that Ryder also used his emotion emotional side yeah. you know what i mean that he wasn't you know cuz we saw from the first episode we saw how jade was giving um Ryder advice especially when the widow was taking over the oil fields and stuff we we saw that he wasn't necessarily in charge, you know what I mean? Like yeah. in charge, you know, you know, so I felt for him a bit in the father, my, like I, you know, my father will never look at me, you know, in the way that I wish he did. Yeah. But hey, you know what I mean? Someone had to go and fuck. But Ryder. you know, but you know, it. that's, that's the thing too, man. These, these kids, they like, that's like, it always happens. Like, it seems like in these stories, like it happens like that. Like the dad, the <laughs> father is a certain way and got to be what he is because of who he is. And they have yeah. these kids that grow up fucking soft, given everything. That's you know, true. it's it's not 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 for nothing, but it's a fucking it's like a an, a, an allegory, point. you know, for for like millennials today, man. Like, and I'm not trying yeah. to put down millennials or the kids. Like even my kids, man. Like my kids. Like I'm trying to teach them. Like you have to be grateful for everything you have. And be aware of where it's coming from, you know. But so, these kids, like, a, you know, the money it, grows on trees, kind of a thing. Exactly, you know? and it's like that's 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 what's happening in real life. But even but even in those things, like you know, you raise a kid to have, you know, like you could tell he was like, well, I thought I raised I was raising my son to be a like a strong man, like I am, or or mm-hmm. I had to be. But the kid never, the kid was never a, fu- you know, Quinn was a fucking clipper. Quinn wasn't born in. Right? Yeah, we got a little bit of that. Remember, we got a little backside of, you know, backstory of of um, Minerva um, and Chow and or and Quinn. Yeah, you know, they were they were fucking they clippers. They, they were cogs, and... clippers. Like they were in like yeah, like you know, they yeah. were they weren't born into the fam- born into the, the 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 business like fucking Ryder was. So anyway, my point is is that yeah. Ryder was never going to be as strong as that. And if he was, I mean, th- if you know. They could have like he could have like taken him under his wing type of situation, but now nah, he had to go. Um, yeah. But I mean, so I mean, Jesse, what what do you? I know Mike and I have been taking up the lion's share of this, you know, this uh, portion. I don't know. I, I didn't really enjoy the writer character that much, mm-hmm. but he went out how I expected him to go out. Yeah, you were like kill him. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. A bitch's yeah. death uh, also, for a bitch. Born. Celeborn is who Martin Cossack played. Uh, with Galad- uh, Gal- Galadriel in the forest when Frodo is uh, escaping from the Mines of Moria. Oh. Yes. The um, elf. Okay. The, for- the elf king in the forest. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. So, I have to go yeah. back and watch it. I gotta do my, I've got to do my yearly uh, run through on that. Just to get his research going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the fact check. Uh, hey, that's cool. So, yeah, I mean, all right. So, you know, again, that's, 
And then at the end, you know, the guy, his his second in command guy, I don't even know his name. He's he's hurt. The widow fucking slit him open, and he's like, no, "You gotta um, go." Not Waldo, no, Waldo, Waldo slit him open. Yeah, Waldo, Waldo did. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of blood, guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of blades happening. All right, it's a little confusing. <laughs> Waldo, uh, Gimli is using a school domain, or whatever the heck you call it, Maragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean, all right. So look, I got I got some questions. All right. Yes. All right. For you guys. What the fuck is gonna happen with Quint, with Quinn now? Like, Quinn is back. Like everyone knows Quinn's I'm glad, back. I'm glad. You, I'm glad you. I'm glad you. You're talking about Quinn or asking about Quinn because I was just thinking, we haven't seen now. It's been six months. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Since Vale has been taking care of him. Yeah. Obviously, there's something that she's doing that is keeping this effect. Maybe slowing it down, even though it's not completely gone. Right. This this aneurysm, whatever this is, this growth. Yeah. But that sh- that whatever she is doing is still helping a bit because we haven't seen any of his episodes, and we saw them happening constantly. Which constantly. we thought was gonna we that's how we thought the rider scene was gonna go yeah. down, where he was gonna be threatening him, and then have an episode, exactly. and then he maybe get beat up by his son, and then the yeah. guy come and help him, and then they leave and. So since that didn't happen, because like you just said, we were expecting it in the writer scene. Since that didn't happen, they're saving that. They're saving that next, maybe final um, episode to something pivotal, pivotal, uh, pivotal mm-hmm. fight. Because remember, every time he got worked up, every time he was fighting or anything like that, that's when these these episodes uh, would happen. These yeah. episodes would yeah. happen. So I was thinking about that while I watch it, because I actually watched it again. And um, when when uh, Vale was <laughs> going through her cabinet of all her medicines and everything, when she was first going to poison the guy, I think I thought his name was Andrew. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe. Was I think her, I right? think you might be right. I think it might be something like that. I, I even said it was like Gatorade, because I called it the blue Gatorade. And that's what she's been giving this guy. That's what she's so, been giving him, yeah. Um, for whatever the, whatever this stuff is, it is helping to a degree. Right, I guess, yeah. He, you know, even though we didn't see what was going on these last six six months, you know, I I could safely assume that he hasn't had any of these episodes because he would. Um, I don't think he would necessarily think that she was she was helping him in any way if if she was treating him and he was still and he's still, still having the episodes. Yeah, of course, him. he'd be like, "You're not you doing know, anything and, for me," but don't so, forget, uh, she's also so, protecting him. Uh, he's also protecting her. Yeah, so she's doing just enough. She needed protection. She didn't. Yeah. She's you know, doing just enough to be to to um, keep herself to aid and him. her kid alive. That's that's yeah. the real reason she's helping him and keeping him alive. She needs to make sure that she's got a place. Yeah, exactly. No, but of course. But like I yeah. said, and I'll wrap it up for me. You guys can can can, can say, but I, you know, my, my prediction is that the, you know it's going to take that one that one big fight. Maybe the finale. Yeah. Maybe he fights Sunny. Maybe you know something happens that way, and that's when we're going to see his last and maybe final. Um, episode. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that, that could definitely be it. It's Edgar, by the way. Uh, not Andrew. Whatever. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. S- same, you know, concept. A basic name. A name. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Quinn being back kind of throws a wrench into how I thought this season would go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I was expecting him to work in the shadows, slowly undoing everything that's been done, and I, I guess he could still somewhat do that. I mean, not for of course, but he could go in, cause mayhem and havoc, and then retreat back to his underground tunnel. Uh, I guess that's what's going to probably happen. Or he's going to take over uh, his estate again. Yeah. That's always there. That's, that's what I'm saying. So uh, this, so this, all right, so this ties into a couple of questions I had. Like, wh- wh- again, what what is going to happen with Quinn now? Now that now that they all know that he's around, okay? Now he's he could be he's going to be gunning for the rest of the of the barons. Number one, number two, is he gonna is he gonna take his estate back? Number three, what's going to happen to Jade? Now, technically, mm-hmm. would Jade, you know, if Quinn was still gone, would and he died somehow, would Jade be the new Baron Baroness, the widow, like the widow is? So what's going to happen? Technically, no. Because Quinn was never dead, therefore Ryder was never Baron, and Jade is not Baroness. Right. 
So yes. So what's he gonna do? To, what's he gonna do to her? Is she gonna flee? Is she gonna go with another baron? Is she gonna, you know, um, is again, is he gonna take back his estate? So I think yeah. his time of hiding is out now. But then he's got to go back and now deal with this veil situation. Well, so. we kind of got you know, if you haven't seen the the uh, sneak peek of next week, then spoilers. Don't listen what I'm gonna say, but um, we see. Uh, Jade taking control, mm. and Jade says that she's claim now um, since Ryder's gone that she will be, uh, you know, she's gonna be the Baroness. So uh, yeah, you you know we saw that in, in yeah, the I sneak didn't, I didn't peek. Watch that, so. Yeah, we saw that in the, well, I you know like I said I watched it again. So yeah, um, in the sneak peek we see okay Jade. So, so she's gonna she's gonna attempt to step up. Yeah, and see. Okay, all right. Um, she's gonna die. Yeah, she's gonna die. Yeah, maybe not for long, but uh, maybe you not know, for just, a while. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna be one of those ancillary characters <laughs> that that is gonna be pushed to the side and still be around. Um, but Ooh, just or maybe Quinn uses her as a puppet. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe he's like, I'm gonna not kill you, and you're gonna do what I say. Get on your knees yeah. and tell me you love me. Type of situation. Um, <laughs> let's wrap this up. But the last thing that I want to talk about real quick is is a question I want to pose: Is they they attack the widow, man? Like they 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 went against her they attacked her Mm -hmm. basically you know this means war doesn't it like she's she's no longer baroness yeah yeah to to, to, she doesn't give a shit about that she is to her she's so this is all out war now now the badlands is is a Mm -hmm. civil war now now it's war Mm -hmm. quinn's back you think he's gonna fucking sit by and do nothing nope he's gonna go claim his shit she's gonna go claim back her shit Ryder's fucking dead you know what i mean yeah, I don't think I agree with with Chris. I don't think she gives a shit about a title next to her name. Nah. She's gonna she's gonna stay in the in her mansion or whatever, and that's gonna be that. If people want to attack her, listen, she 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 and her daughter and and Waldo pretty much wiped out fucking everybody. Yes, yeah, seriously. Um, what you know, the cool thing about Quinn though, I think, and how Jesse said, I think that I can see Quinn taking back his own mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They specifically made it to where no one's there. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's like perfect you know just let's go back home you know what i mean yeah exactly well so, they're in jacoby's mag, uh, mansion right now right no that's where he is now but they went he went back well they no went back. that's yeah 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 so if 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 what we see in the spoilers in the in the in the next week preview um jade will be where Ryder was in yeah. jacoby's and we have this nice little old plantation you know sitting there yeah. overgrown that that Quinn is just going to take back. Mm-hmm. Quinn doesn't want Jacoby's fucking mansion. He wants to be yeah. home. So I think that's perfect how they left that, you mm-hmm. know? So everybody's going to be where they are. And like you said, yeah, I agree with you, Chris. She's all, it's all at war. You know, if yeah. you want to attack us, you know, well, she said him. you can take my land over my cold, dead body. So yeah. Yeah. No, she's, <laughs> she is. She's so, so, so again, the reason I, in review, I gave it a four the story because yeah. I thought about it again. I'm like, yo, everything has changed right now. Mm-hmm. Everything. This episode blew open Pandora's box at this point. So yeah. everything is insane. Sonny's going to come back into the fold and be like, what the fuck is happening? You know what I mean? He's like, there's going to be these guys are fighting. This guy's Quinn's back. This, that it's going to be insane. So I'm I'm really excited to see where this goes. Yeah, I'm just I'm genuinely excited to see where this actually goes. And who's gonna yeah. end up getting killed and stuff like that, and how it's MK works show. into it, you yeah, know? It's, it's a great show. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. enjoying it. Oh, yep, 100. percent Anyway, all right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for us. Why don't you go ahead and I'm about to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and let us know what you thought of this episode. Have yourself a lozenge, boy. Uh, I, I dropped my my water's <laughs> on the floor. It's empty now. Um. So yeah. So like I said, that's gonna probably do it for us over here. For this episode of Into the Badlands Discussion. Yes. Don't forget to check us out on all social medias, on Facebook, on YouTube, Third Person Pod. Also, don't forget we're on iTunes now. You can take a look at that, listen to us, write a little review if you like. Um, We always love answering questions and comments, uh, especially about the show uh, and and some of our other shows that that we do vids too. So just write down in the little comment section there, and we'll love to answer any of these questions that you have for us. 
Definitely. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't checked out the review and the live reaction, go ahead and check those out because those are also fun. And it's kind of a package deal, you know? You check all these three bit. out and you get a full, get the full package, you know, um, and, wow. you know, we like doing it. We like doing it that way. So it, it's good. So go check those out. And uh, yeah, like Mike said, leave your comments on those. And as always, comicblitz.com, third person pod is your promo code. Gets you three months, three dollars, one buck a month on all your iOS, Android, and other devices. But it's unlimited comics. Not just a little bit of comics. Unlimited. unlimited. So that means... I don't believe it. <laughs> Wowzers. Oh, uh, my. <laughs> so go over there and get your comic on. All right? Do it. Cause it's... Comic-Con. Com- comic- Comic-Con. 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 Oh, I can't wait for Comic-Con this year. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll have a whole video about that. Guys, thank you so much for all the support, all the questions. We love you guys. You guys know who you are. You guys yeah. are awesome. Uh, I mean, really, I just really want to want to want to thank everyone for for hanging out with us and watching and and giving us those comments and and just yes. being a part of the community uh, that we're trying to build here. So thank you very much, guys. We will see you on the next discussion episode for Into the Badlands. Thank you very much, guys, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace.